There's a botulism outbreak tied to baby formula, and the company that's implicated had multiple sanitation issues leading up to this, and it mirrors something that we saw just years ago, but I want to explain why I have more concerns about this outbreak. On the FDA website, the current maker of the ongoing formula outbreak, Byheart, had inspections from the FDA last year that showed sanitation issues, pest control issues, and contamination issues of their plant. While this has concerns for the ongoing botulism outbreak, it mirrors something that we just saw a few years ago. In 2022, infant formula maker Abbott was Im implicated and associated with multiple infections of Chronobacter from infants who were eventually hospitalized and a few of them died from the infections. But the FDA took months to actually react to that outbreak. A whistleblower from Abbott actually emailed a complaint to the FDA, but some of the FDA inadvertently put it in the archived box so that whistleblower complaint never saw the light of day until months later. When the FDA eventually did do their inspections, they found terrible conditions of the Abbott plant and they took samples all across the plant and found the exact same bacterial species, Chronobacter, growing across many different surfaces. Eventually parents sued Abbott because of their infant infections, but the Abbott lawyers put really strong tactics against these families to try to not to pay out these lawsuits. In just this year, in 2025, more people from Abbott came forward about ongoing issues from that plant. One actual whistleblower complaint said that to, in order to mix ingredients, someone had to take a piece of cardboard from the trash and use it as a funnel to actually mix the ingredients. So flash forward to now, we have a botulism outbreak tied to infant formula. There are FDA inspections from last year showing issues from that facility, and now we're seeing the fallout from it. But this time, guess who's leading the FDA against the charge of this? Just this year, the White House appointed a former Abbott lawyer who was defending Abbott to oversee the division within the FDA that oversees baby formula. Because if the FDA was slow to catch it in 2022, now we have someone who used to defend one of those formula companies leading the FDA charge against this new investigation. And I want to reiterate, the people that are working at the FDA, the career scientists, are wonderful people who care about the babies and the safety of all of us. And I have to thank them for their hard work to get this investigation put out there as it is right now. But moving forward, the current regulatory leadership is actually what keeps me up at night for this ongoing outbreak.